Hey guys, this is Jesse, and this is Fishing the Dream. I told you in the previous video I was going to go over uh, fishing with soft plastic crawfish uh, patterns. I may even touch on some uh, crankbaits, some hard plastic baits. Talk to you about rigging. Um, I fish a lot of crawdad imitations all over the country. I, mo I mainly fish in rivers and streams and generally when I hit a new body of water or I know that I'm going to be fishing with a uh, crawdad imitation I always uh, check the forage in the area so that being said generally when I hit the water I will roll some rocks check for you know colors uh, what color the crawdad in the area is the uh, size and keep in mind that crawfish uh, molt and basically what molting is is they shed their shell as they grow so in order to get larger they must sh shed the shell and uh, in a good nutrient rich water base they will shed anywhere from 30 to 40 times a year so that being said you have to be kind of aware of what the colorations of the uh, crawfish in the area are so you can mimic their their colors and size. I always kind of get a cross reference of uh, how large they are, what coloration they are as a as a whole. I don't just base it on one or two crawfish. So that being said, I will uh, go through um, how I rig crawfish and what types of crawfish I use. I mean, in a lot of part of the country, everybody calls them different names. It could be a crawfish, crayfish, mud bugs. I mean, they're they're from one end of this continent to the other. So that being said, we'll go over what types of uh, crawfish patterns I use and uh, how I rig them. All right guys, as I said, uh, I use a variety of different crawfish patterns. Uh, this one in particular is Lunker Hunt. Uh, it's a finesse craw, it's pre-rigged comes with three soft plastics in a package and this one's a quarter ounce uh, three inch version um, they sell them in variations in color different uh, sizes now, like I said they come pre-rigged with a Ned style hook in them I'll show you what it looks like and uh, I basically just bounce these off the bottom and like I said they stand on end when you uh, when you jig them they're a pretty pretty durable bait they come, like I said, pre-rigged. You can see the uh, Ned style hook on them. And they are very effective for smallmouth, largemouth, uh, rock bass, spotted bass. It's a good pattern. Uh, when they when they take one of these, they generally inhale it. It's a, it's a very good productive pattern. And like I said, I use the, I mostly use the uh, green pattern here. I think this is a uh, watermelon color. But uh, there are uh, there are other types of crawfish that I use. Put these to the side. I also use different types of jigs. This jig in particular, I'm not quite sure what the name of it is. I ran across these at a bait shop in East Tennessee. I picked up a handful of them, and I thought it was a pretty neat idea. I don't know that how effective it is but it stands your bait on end like the uh, crawfish is in a prone position as a, as a predator is trying to grab it a crawfish will generally stand on its legs and put its claws up in defense and this is basically what this jig does it's got two little uh, arms on it that stick out in a flat base so when it's sitting on the bottom it stands on end with the claws up uh, I've not had a whole lot of luck with them, but I've used them, and they do seem to stand up like that, but they seem to be a little um, little more uh, snag. They get a little more snags, uh, more so than other jigs I use. This is another, uh, this is another variation I use, and this is a Rage Tail by Strike King. And uh, I just use it on a Ned hook. It's a basic imitation of a crawfish. 
It's got the, uh, as you pull it through the water, the legs move a little, undulate a little bit, sort of like a uh, swimming crawfish. And it's pretty productive also. And as, as I said, it's got a Ned style hook on it. Just about, you can use just about anything for a jig head on these. But I like to use the Ned because it kind of stands on end when it uh, falls. Fairly productive also. There's another, uh, there's some there's some other types of uh, lures out there like tube jigs, which are a good representation of crawfish. They work, they work very well in mimicking crawfish and they can be rigged with a regular jig head straight down the middle. Uh, what I generally do, I know these things hold a little air in them when you try to put the jig head in, so I actually poke a hole in the end and wet the jig head before I slide it down and it gener generally goes in very easily. And there is a multitude of colors that you can get and sizes of these. Generally I use a three inch. They seem to be more productive uh, than most other sizes for me. And like I say, I, I fish uh, moderately sized streams and rivers and you, these can be used in lakes also. Anywhere where uh, bass are bedding, you can throw one of these across the bed and, and drag it through it and they'll pick it up. They want to keep predators off their beds. And it's a great uh, tool for that type of fishing. Uh, another another thing you can use is a, the hairstyle jig. And this one here's got a Z-Man style uh, crawfish pattern on it. And it, this is a micro bait. Uh, I don't use very big jigs um, because like I say, I don't fish that big a body of water. And uh, any size, bass will pick this thing up. It's, it, it's not just for smaller fish. And it works very well. And it's a Ned style. And when it falls, it falls on its end, just like a, a Ned, uh, Ned rig would. And that being said, I also use, uh, I also use Ned rigs as a, craw, as a uh, crawfish representation. They work just the same. It's a small body. They stand on end. They can be jerked or twitched and uh, just they work great as a crawfish pattern, and uh, I use them frequently. And uh, I've, I've got a new bait now that I've not had the chance to use, and it's called uh, Savage. But I have to say the plastics on this Savage bait are just about like that of a Nico Helgramite. Uh, the Nico Helgramites are very durable, and these things are very, very pliable, and they don't tear up very easily. So when I do get a little fishing under my belt uh, with these, I will let you know uh, how they work and give you an update on them. And also, Yum makes a very good uh, crawfish representation. And this is one of my favorite. And I also uh, poke a hole in, these, in the body of these to shove the jig head in also because they have a hollow cavity. And when you try to shove the jig head in, they trap air in there and it does the same as a uh, tube jig. It doesn't want to go in very easily. So I poke a hole up here for the for the head of the hook to come through or the eyelet, and they seem to go through a lot better. In this particular model, they are pretty easy to fish, and they don't snag very easily because your hook is basically on top, and it's kind of hid, hidden by the body, which is uh, which is a good good thing on streams. Most streams are rocky, and it's a good it's a good deal to have one that's not got any kind of uh, protrusions on it where you can get it caught in the rocks or even the lead head sticking out and getting wedged between the rocks so on to the uh, hard plastic crankbaits um, I'm a firm user in the rebel crawl I love their products I have ever since I was a kid and they have them in a multitude of colors they have them in a multitude of bill sizes for depths, and they work very effectively for bass. It doesn't matter what type of bass you're fishing for, smallmouth, largemouth, rock bass, these are great representations. And you can pick them up just about anywhere. Uh, Walmart carries just about every color of them. And that being said, if this is the type of video you like uh, seeing, hit the like button and subscribe. I'm going to be traveling all over the country doing some fishing videos, and if this is uh, your kind of bag, 
hit the like button and subscribe. I'd appreciate your support. Thank you.